Привет, господа! In this video, you'll know what is the best fruit in the first sea. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Well, in the first sea, you have two builds: play styles as you wish, fruit build and sword build. But the first build, as you understand, you're using block fruits as main damage, and sword build is obviously sword as the main weapon. Let's look at the sword build. You'll be using a sword as the main weapon. Block fruit in that case will be as an addition. First, you have to to get the best sword in the first sea, the saber sword. How to get it you'll know from my previous video, link will be in description. And then pick the magma fruit. Magma in that case will be the best addition to that build, because it grants immunity to all physical damage, if your enemies have level below yours, so keep that in mind. So you won't get any damage from them and grinding will be super easy. Next, you'll have an ability to walk on the water, which helps you if you don't have any fastballs and you won't, because you just start playing, you know? Also Magma has the ability to fly, so you'll reach difficult areas with it. As you see, my little fellas, that fruit is so good and easy to get, because it's not a legendary fruit and chip, you will have a higher chance to roll it or buy it from a Bloxfruit dealer, so don't worry. Ok, let's look to another build, the Bloxfruit build, where your fruit is your main weapon. Here's so simple actually, the best fruit in the first sea is light fruit. First you have an ability to fly and fast, so you won't need a bow, you'll be super mobile with that. Also you have M1 attacks, so you can just click and deal damage, along with using your fruit skills. This is an option for Bloxfruit players. I use this fruit also, so it helps. Checked. Of course you can combine any playstyles, any build and make your own, but if you don't want to think about it, you can use playstyles above which I provided. So guys don't forget to subscribe, I hope guys I helped you. 